past the razor wire gate to the bolted metal door, the metal detector that picks up nails in your shoes, through another metal door and greeted by patches of garden. I love dirt and dirt loves me. <laughs> Renee Harris is one of several inmates who applied and were chosen to work in Coffee Creek's organic garden 30 to 40 hours a week. It gives me a sense of purpose, receiving something and being able to give back to society. Linda Drock oversees the program for the Oregon Health Authority. The state recently received a $180,000 grant from Kaiser Permanente. A couple of goals. I mean, one is to increase the size and production of the garden here. The other is to work with the uh, kitchen and the food service staff to uh, make some changes to the menu to integrate more of the inmate grown produce. The inmates will also be taught how to incorporate the food into their diets upon release, and the gardeners will have skills they can use professionally. The women are incarcerated for a wide range of crimes, from manslaughter to fraud. They all agree working in the garden is therapeutic, comforting. Mary and Sam's waters a patch of herbs. It's been so hard to get outside. I've been over at Medium for the first 10 years, and we only got our yard out there, so there was no flowers, no um, vegetables. Charlene Albin feels proud when she sees the other women eating the vegetables she's tended. We had salads last night with the radishes and the lettuce. And what do the other women say about that? They were excited. Oh, did you, you should taste the salad. Inmate Cheryl Friedland enjoys teaching some of the other women. You know, they want to know when we're going to pull the bananas out of the ground, you know? I mean, they really, truly have never seen how a radish grows and what time of year it's happy. Felicia Heaton, Wilsonville.